Hi everyone. I was trying to be Lizzie, but it's not the same. Mm. Heidi just got up realizing that her daddy just left. He went to Monday Night Football. He took his pill with him. So we'll take it in a couple hours. About eight. Oh, well, yeah, a couple hours. About eight, nine o'clock. Then he'll have one more. He has to take it midnight before bed. Five, taking five pills a day. <laughs> God, it's only for seven days. He's like, man, if I had to do this for the rest of my life, I wouldn't like it, he said. Because <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be bad if you took them all at the same time, but you got to take one and then wait and then take another and wait and take another and wait and take another. You know. Um, in the mail today, I got an envelope from the health department. Thinking, oh Lord. But all three trucks, yearly inspections, all in compliance. All past inspection. Um, different person did it. <laughs> so Ron will be happy to see those tomorrow. Today is his birthday. My cousin Ronnie's birthday. He turned 47. Uh, his wife turned 47 a couple weeks ago. And now he's caught up with her again. He, uh, I guess his wife cooked him some crab legs for dinner tonight, and he just is chilling in the house tonight, he said. I said, you going out anywhere special tonight? He goes, no, nope, staying in, relaxing. Tomorrow, we go to the bank and sign the papers. And then we'll get our check to present to the people we're buying the business from. And then Ronnie and the guys can haul everything onto our property. And Wednesday is supposed to be 60 degrees. So instead of having to move stuff in a blizzard, which is the normal weather for this time of year, they get to do it on a 60 degree day. That's nice. Um, I got some cards. This one is from my friend Richard, who always sends me a card with glitter on it. For those of you who don't know, me and glitter have a history that started back in 2007 on the vlogs when Eden sent me a glitter bomb card. And uh, so it's been kind of a running joke um, from then on. So when I get glitter cards, I'm very careful and try not to get it everywhere. But this is the one from Richard. And I didn't know it was from him because he forgot to sign it. I said, I think I have a card. I think it's from you, but you didn't sign it. He goes, oh, I signed it. So I took a picture of the inside. He goes, I did sign it. He, he, he did sign it, but he just said Merry Christmas to me, Dad, Heidi, and Kitty. But not from him. So he said, yeah, that's my card. And he, he goes, I know you're going to love my card. I'm like, why? He goes, it's got glitter on it. I'm like, e he did that last year too. Um, and this one, a pow. See, now this kind of glitter card is pretty. You can't tell it's glittery. It's all sealed in. That glitter card that Eden sent years ago. I mean, it was a card like this, and you opened it up, and just everywhere. And it was on my work desk. This is when my office was in the other room. There's probably, I know there's still glitter in the carpet. You know, glitter, once it has invaded your space, it never goes away. Just a fact. I remember making a deposit at the bank after that happened, and she took it in, and she looked at it. She goes, your deposit's very festive looking. I'm like, I know, it's glittery, I know, I know. This is from the channel uh, Bad Z Karma 99 Thank you very much. She's a pretty little angel. Next. This is from a fe uh, Oh, Illinois. I always, I always want to put her in Michigan for some reason. Another pretty one. Brian and Jane. And she is wondering if I'm going to do my New Year's Eve marathon where I do many videos throughout the night. We will see what happens. We will see. More than likely I will, but we will see. And this one, as soon as I saw where it was from, I know immediately who it was from. Adriana, look at the wiener dog sticker. Oh, I'm trying to do this. Why don't I do it like this way? It would be much easier. And there's a kitty and a nutcracker. Okay. 
and she sent a pretty Merry Christmas card. And I want to thank her for some box tops. These are going to be the first ones in my bucket because I gave them all to my aunt at Thanksgiving. So these are the first ones that go into the new batch. And she sent Kitty a coupon. And she sent an Irish bless a blessing, which I will read. An old Irish blessing. May love and laughter light your days and warm your heart and home. May good and faithful friends be yours wherever you may roam. May peace and plenty bless your world with joy that long endures. May all life's passing seasons bring the best to you and yours. Thank you so much, Adriana. She's one of the sweetest people in the world. I called it. And I have a package that the person has. She said it's very fragile. I have, un, I have undone it, but all I see in it is packing peanuts. And um, this is from Elaine. And we are going to see what's in here. But she said, be very careful. It's very fragile. So let's deal with the packing peanuts first. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, I see why it's very fragile. I was wondering if this was going to be what it was. Because on your Facebook page, I saw you did this kind of art. And I'm like, I wonder if it's going to be. And it is. I know it's all a mystery. It'll it'll be it'll come it'll come clear here in a minute. But I wanted to deal with the packing peanuts first. Okay. I don't want to break it because if I break it, I'd be very sad. It's an ornament for my tree. She does. Can I put it on my tree, or should I? I can put this on the tree, right? She does uh, egg um, art on eggs. She did a dream one. And this is an eggshell that she has. How did you blow it out without putting a hole at the other end and only at one end? When I was in um, Girl Scouts many, many years ago, we had a lady come in who did egg art and she also did the kind where you cut it open and put scenes inside the eggs and stuff and I was fascinated. I even have tried to blow an egg out before. That is not fun. I mean, it is not easy. But this is so pretty. Now is this painted? I'm, I'm sure. And it's shellacked. This is dream big on it. Oh, I didn't get the big part on there. Hang on, let me show you again. Dream, and then there's the big, and then it's got things all around it. Thank you so much. I'm going to be so afraid this is going to get broken. This is one of those, you're like, it's an eggshell. <laughs> but I'm sure there's a whole lot of shellac on there that makes it a little more sturdy. But still, it's an eggshell. We have to hang it on the tree. Yeah, I'll show Dad before I do that, though. He's gone. Gone bye-bye. I don't even know where to put this because, one, I don't want the cat to get it. Because cat playing with eggshell equals bad. Bad. Where is she? What are you doing? She's sneaking up right here. She knows I was talking about her. She's right there. Over my shoulder. You don't need to packing peanuts. She's smelling them. See, cats, they know. When there's something you don't want to mess with, they come out of nowhere. But now I'm going to say sayonara. I'm going to go heat me up some dinner, leftover breakfast. Um, make me some toast. Settle in and watch a few shows I have recorded. And just have a peaceful, quiet evening. So, Thank you, Elaine. That is beautiful. Do you teach this? Or is this a hobby? Tell me. Bye.